if you want to hear, want to hear an inspiring word that will get you through your day. If you want to build your faith, your faith grow in God's grace, God's grace. To have a better connection with Jesus Christ. So tune in to Good God's Morning. Good God's Morning. Good God's Morning. Good God's morning to you. I pray that you're having a blessed, beautiful morning this morning on this Friday, July the 9th. It is another day, beloved, that the Lord has made and we will, we shall. That's right. We are going to rejoice and be glad in it. So, good morning to you. I pray all is well with you all and that you're having a blessed and beautiful morning so far. Remember, God's got so much in store for you today. He's already went ahead of us and paved the way. And so I don't know about y'all, but I'm expecting something good. Praise God. Amen. All right. Let's get our scripture for this morning. For some reason, I couldn't put it on our screen. All right. But our scripture is coming from Proverbs 16 and 25, okay? Proverbs 16, verse 25, all right? And it says, there is a way that seems right to a man, but in the end, it leads to death. Proverbs 16, 25, it says, there is a way that seems right to man, but in the end, it leads to death. Mm, leads to death. Let's talk about that. If you remember yesterday, we were talking about, um, you know, 1 Corinthians was talking about the same, somewhat the same thing, you know, um, a, a, a man or a woman of older age, you would think that they would know things and, you know, they would know, um, have have wisdom, but yet Scripture calls them a fool because their wisdom is not in God, um, it is in the world. Same, same line up here. You know, there's a way that seems right to man, but in the end it leads to death. Many people, you know, um, they do things and they think, well, yeah, you know, I'm, 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 how, how do they say it? I am, I'm good. I'm a good person. I'm this, but they've never really given themselves to God. You know, they, they do good, do good deeds. Overall, you can say they're a good person, but they've never submitted themselves to God, never um, gave themselves over to God. And for some people, because I've, I've heard I've heard people say this before, you know, I'm good. I don't need to do all that. It don't take all that. Sometimes it takes that and more. Again, Scripture says, you know, um, man, woman goes off their own wisdom, thinking that their own wisdom is right. And little do they know it is just the enemy deceiving them. Beloved, I've seen people who they tell me, you know, well, you know, I, I love the Lord and, you know, okay, but have you been baptized? No, I don't need to be baptized. Do you go to church? No, I don't need to worship. I don't need to go to no church, no building. That's just the building, you know. And I and I and I, I get I I get it. I agree. It is just a building. We are the temple. I, we our bodies are the temple. We are the church. We are the church. However, 
Bible says, forsake not the fellowship of brethren. Also gives us, it gives us a couple things that we, as a believer, should do because we believe. One, be baptized in Jesus' name, going down in the water. That the things we ought to do after we're baptized, you know, remembering his sacrifice. So, in essence today, let us not be fooled and tricked by what the enemy, the devil, our so-called wise selves want us to believe. But make sure that when we get information, when we get, you know, um, information, that it's the right information. Make sure we aren't just listening to ourselves and, and ourselves, you know, thinking that we are right. Okay? All right? In other words, beloved, we don't know everything. And we have to hear from God. The Bible says, how can one hear unless there be a preacher? All right, beloved, let's pray this morning. Father, we thank you, God, for your grace and your mercy. Thank you for your love and kindness towards us, God, that's been new every morning. God, we thank you, O oh God, that this morning and yesterday morning, God, you're, you're, you're giving us nuggets. You're giving us wisdom, God, that we can take and, and, and mold and shape our ourselves into being better people. God, help those who... who, who Think they are wise. Help us to submit ourselves to you, to humble ourselves, to understand that we don't know everything. And it is you who knows everything. You know us, you know, you know everything, you know this world, you know everything, God. And so that we must con 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 consult, we must seek your face. So that we too can have wisdom. The true wisdom that comes from you. Father, we ask you to bless us now. Bless those who are watching today. Bless those that are, will watch this later. God bless those that may have already been on this morning. We give you praise, glory, and honor for it, God. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. And amen. All right, beloved. Good guys morning to you. Good guys morning. Y'all say hello to First Lady. Good guys morning, Lady Karen. Good guys morning, Kanita. Good guys morning, Bobby. Good guys morning, Shelly. Good guys morning. All right, good guys morning to all of y'all. Y'all have a blessed and a beautiful Friday. Be safe. The sun is just so bright and shining. So y'all stay, stay safe. Continue to be blessed. And we'll see y'all tomorrow. Same time, same place for another good God's morning moment. All right? Good God's morning to you. God bless you. If you want to hear, want to hear an inspiring word that will get you through your day. If you want to build your faith, your faith grow in God's grace, God's grace. To have a better connection with Jesus Christ. So tune in to Good God's Morning. 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 Good God's morning, good God's morning, good God.